hey, welcome into my home today. I am going to train in my 3D system. And this is something I do quite often when it's too cold outside. I still want to get some work done on my swing. I'm going to discuss my 3D training and perfect practice. And I'm also going to talk about the finish position and the wall. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. Years ago, I was frustrated because I lost that. I was confused, I was frustrated, and then I met Mo Norman and learned the single plane swing. And so now, I wake up every day and I know I'm going to hit it well, I know I'm going to play well, I know I'm going to have fun. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're going to go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. So welcome back and welcome into my home. I am going to do a little bit of discussion here. This, this requires a little bit of explanation on what this is. Some of you may or may not know about single plane 3D. So what I have is a software. Inside this software, I have built the absolute swing model of where I want my body positioned. It's Mo Norman single plane swing. When I step into the model, the, the software on the machine, and you can see when I set up here, you can see the screen in front of me, it's going to give me what we call biofeedback. Biofeedback is where, when I'm, when I'm swinging, it's going to give me indications, audio tone, and you can see visually if my body is in the correct position or not. That avatar on the screen right there is telling me, am I tilted too much? Am I rotated too much? So the avatar is telling me if the position of my body is correct. These are metrics on the screen. The metrics are telling me you know, how much rotation my body needs. There's a sensor here on my back and a sensor here on my pelvis. These two sensors, which I've checked a couple times to make sure they're placed correctly, sensor placement's important. These two sensors are telling me if my body is positioned correct. Let me give you a quick demonstration here of what it looks like when I cha train in biofeedback is you have the program on the left. The program on the left is um, what we call activities. These are activities. So and, and let me just kind of give you a demonstration here to show you what I mean by the activity. So I'm going to go into my address position first. I'm going to unlink these real quick. So the, the machine is asking for my position zero, which is address. And you can see when I get in the proper address, you hear the biofeedback. I can see my avatar on the screen too. So what it's teaching me is what the feeling the real-time feeling of the address position is. Now, this to me is the next level of training better than even using video because video is really great. I mean, I, I've used it my whole life, but when you go use video, you take a picture of your swing, you go look at it, you go, oh, I don't like something or I want to change something. You got to go back and recreate that. And then it's a trial and error experimentation whereas this is real-time adjustments. Now, my question to you when, you when I'm training like this is we're discussing feel here. This is about feel. Now, if I ask you this question, how do you learn to feel things, right? That's a very, very, there's a huge question mark on that and no instructor can teach you that because feel is learned through experience and repetition and so my question to you then is, are you practicing in the ideal fashion to feel what's correct 100% of the time when you're practicing? And this is where I think most golfers miss it because they're not practicing correctly. So this is really truly about ideal practice. Now, that's conversation number one is just practicing perfectly. I'm going to go through all my positions here so you can see how I practice perfectly when I train my positions. All right, so let me just do this. I'm going to link these positions up and I'm just going to try to hit every position in my swing that I, that I program here. So 
it's, it's just a little bit of a workout because it's really isometrically training my body. Now this isn't really the golf swing, right? Because this is more of a isometric hitting of my positions. So what's happening here is you're training the body, uh, what I call matching up the three major metrics of the body. What I mean by that is the body has a bend to it, the body has a rotation to it, and the body has a tilt to it, right? So you have these three metrics that the body is going through. The problem with most golfers is everybody can bend, everybody can rotate, everybody can side bend. They just can't put their body into a side bend in a rotation because of maybe flexibility issues or training issues where they haven't trained those positions. So by, by going through what, what, what this isometric type position training is doing, it's teaching my body how to match up the three metrics of the body so that I can hit all the positions and I'm learning what my body needs to do. It's also training what we call body awareness and stability. So, so for example, the body needs some stability in these positions. So if certain parts are stabilizing, certain parts are moving. So it's training my body how to be balanced, rotated, stable, and positioned correctly with all, within those three metrics of movement. Does that make sense? So this is what I, fantastic training. Now I can set this up for numbers of reps. Right now I have nine, I, I have 10 reps. I just did one, so now I have nine left. So now it's asking for another rep. So I can step in, up in here, try to hit my address position again. Position one to the top two, down to three. Impact four. A oh, little side bend there. Five, and then finish six. So what you're seeing there, <laughs> like I said, when, you, when, you, when you're training your body, this is why this is such fantastic training because I have not been practicing a whole lot. I, if I ran to the range right now, just think about this way. If I ran to the range right now and started slashing at golf balls, maybe my body's a bit out of position. I'm going to build a habit around bad positioning, and I don't want to do that. So I'll spend some time on my 3D system here. I'll work through my positions. I'll train a little bit. I'll hit my positions, and then I'll really, really do some reps here to feel my body positions, and it's making my body stronger, right? So that's the first conversation today is, is really, really dedicating yourself to really, really good quality practice. This is a way that I do it along with video work and coaching work. So these are the two major ways that I train my body and train my golf swing is with video and through this more sophisticated system of biofeedback. Now, let's talk about the finish position, right? So the finish position is another conversation. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take away the club here for a second and let's talk about what I, what I mean by what I mean by the wall, right? So the wall is, you've seen a few previous videos of mine where when I move the body, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put it on my finish position real quick in my biofeedback mode, where you get to this position where, let me see if I can see it on my screen here. Too much turn. And, and I'm telling you, training with this system is much harder without a golf club because, because the golf club gives you spatial awareness. So I always have a hard time I'm gonna do it with a club. Okay, so let's go back through my finished position here. I wanna hit that position. And when I'm doing this, um, I want you to, I wanna see with this golf club, because it's much easier with a golf club. Let's go through there and hit my finish. Okay, so here I am, how much rotation? 90 degrees. I have a total of 90 degrees of torso rotation in my finish. I'm gonna back up one step and I'm gonna go to my extension. So, so let's look at from when I get to impact and I get to extension here where both arms are straight, my torso has 75 degrees of rotation right there. Okay, so impact is about, let's see where impact is, in the 35 range and then let me see here. So there's about 70 degrees of rotation, and then there's 90. 
So what you're seeing here in these positions is the torso is only moving 75 to 90, 15 degrees. Now I'm going to tell you something about rotation of the body is, is five degrees is, is minimal. So you have very little rotation, 15 degrees. Let me show you how much 15 degrees is. So I'm going to start it right there, 17. That's 15 degrees of rotation. See, that's 15 degrees. See how little that is? That, I can hardly feel that. 15 degrees of rotation is right here. Watch this. That's all it is. That's 15 degrees of rotation right there. See how little rotation that is? But watch how far the club moves. I want you to get this. Watch how far the club moves from here to here with only 15 degrees of torso rotation. All right, so let's do it again. So now we are here, we're at about 70, okay? And then watch this, 15 degrees of rotation. See how much the arms moved? Okay, so we're seeing a ton of club, arm, and hand movement with, I'm not gonna say no, but very, very little torso movement. Let me, let me explain this because I'm using my 3D system here to kind of explain the metrics of this. So what's happening is this. The body is, is getting to a position where that is stuck. Stuck meaning it, it can't do a whole lot, right? That's stuck. I keep dropping my mic and put it in my pocket. So that gets stuck. Now this is stuck. Then watch, I get extension. Now watch this. From here to here is almost all arms, hands, and shoulders. So that's what I mean. Your torso is hitting a wall, and the rest of this is shoulders, hands, and arms. What you're not getting is this. You're getting this. See that? That's what I mean by hitting the wall. So the torso position is nailing this position here, and there's very little movement of the torso to there. And that's allowing the arms to get to a position where they can accelerate through the golf ball. That's what I mean by the wall. This is kind of demonstrating that, that movement to you. So I want you to understand how that's occurring. And you can look at some of my other videos and, and I'll talk about this. That's occurring because of this. Lead foot rotated out, stabilization into the knee, stopping the pelvis, keep that foot down. I don't care if you roll it in, but I, want, I don't want this. See, I don't want that going up. I want plant the foot, plant the knee, stable, stabilization, rotation, stuck, see my upper body getting stuck, release. That's what's happening with the upper body. That's my explanation today because most people run to the range, they don't practice correctly, they over rotate, they over move, and they're just not learning to get the body to let the arms, see that, accelerate through the ball. And that's something that needs to be practiced. So the final, final note here, I know this is a long video. My final recommendation to you is this. Make this a year of practicing great. Make this a year of finding ways to be perfect practice. Make this a year of dedicating yourself to mastering the precision of a golf swing. Because here's the problem with most golfers. What have you learned in your life? And this is what I'm gonna end with today. What have you learned in your life that was a precise skill, like striking a golf ball, or playing the piano, or driving a car, or cooking a meal. I mean, these things, we, we read, we read a, the, the uh, recipe, we read the directions. Uh, all these things we do in our lives that re require some precision, we need to have a plan and a system for it. Except golfers don't do that. They run out there and they just slash away at a golf ball without building a precise movement of the swing. If you spend some time, get some precision in your training, get, do some work on, on some of this stuff, use video, use these tools, practice correctly, use alignment trainers, you can get more precise with your training and you'll be amazed at your results. That's the video for today. Thanks for watching me and follow my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.